All right, you guys, so in this video, what I wanted to do is uh, show off how you can do a quick one-point localization um, with magnet field with a connected network rover. So I have a network rover that you can see I have a position on in our parking lot over here in the back. I see a position and it's live. I haven't uh, done anything to the actual data. So uh, if you know the coordinates that you're supposed to be occupying with your mm, rover, you can obviously key them in. I don't because I'm just out in the middle of nowhere. So I'll just hit the store over here. And what I'll do is we will make a new corrected position. So we know that these are the actual coordinates that we read currently. But I know that I need this to actually read 200 over here, for example. I need this to read whatever, 60. And I need my elevation to read uh, of 30 feet or something. Because I read it off of my sheet where I'm uh, standing with my rover. And I noticed that I'm off by quite a bit. So I was off by 9 feet in my northing, apparently 10 feet in my easting, and about yeah 600 or 580 feet on my um, elevation. So I can do a one-point localization going through localizing uh, in here. But um, that's what I don't want to show you right now. I actually want to show you the relatively easier way where you'll just adjust the actual position. So we have point number 1000. We are right here. So what we want to do is we actually want that point to be underneath over here. So it'll, it'll move my position as if I was actually occupying the correct uh, spot. So notice my northing, my elevation currently are this. But what I'll do is I'll put in my newly input point number 1000. And that point number 1000 is uh, the correct value. I'll now take the shot. And the program will say, are you sure? Do you want to override this? Give it a few seconds here. And it'll say, OK, so you can either override, rename, or store this as a checkpoint. If you hit store this as a checkpoint, you can hit the correct base icon. Notice what will happen. It'll say the data in the job will be affected because it's actually shifting everything by that much. And uh, uh, this is where it's easier to do it at the beginning of the job where you don't have too much stuff. But um, and this is just telling me that I'm connected to the network. Do you want to save corrected base um, station as a new point? We'll say uh, yes or no. This is just for reference. I usually say no. But notice now I am sitting on that point and I am inheriting the correct elevation, the correct northing, and the correct easting based on that. So now I can pick up my actual rover pole and move to a new location. And that new location will now be um, relevant to uh, that position. So it's a single point transformation, essentially. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below.